Hello and welcome back to our Christmas series here on A Decorative Home. We have our Christmas planners all made. The rustic Christmas wreath has been designed, so that must mean I'm ready to start decorating my front porch for Christmas. It's a little bit cold here today in Michigan, so I'm gonna go ahead and bundle up and head outside and start decorating the front porch. So come along with me as I decorate our front porch for Christmas. Okay, it's a bit cold and windy out here, but I'm gonna go ahead and muster through it and get going. I'm gonna start with adding my garland hanger on the top of the door first, so wish me luck. Okay, the garland hanger is up. It's still pretty cold and windy out here, so I'm gonna try to move as fast as I can. The garland I already have together, it is strung with lights from last year. All I'm gonna to have to do is put it up and then fluff it, and I'll do that after I get it put up. On the door frame itself, we have little eyelet hooks that I'll hook um, the garland in onto to kind of help secure it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started at putting this garland up. I'm gonna start by finding the middle of the garland so that I know that it can go onto that hook at the top that's in the middle of the door. So the best way to do that is to match up my ends. And then kind of straighten it out. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but I can do it. So that's my middle, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that hooked on first. So I've got an eyelet right here that I'm just gonna hook that onto. And then I'm gonna come over and use the hooks of the garland hanger. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hook them on the side all the way down. Looks like um, my plug-in isn't available, so I'm gonna have to have my husband help me find a place for these lights to be plugged in. He's got the timer set up already, so I'll just have to have him help me with that. But I know that they work, so I'm good on that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff all of the um, garland, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my decorations to the garland. Okay, I think I have it pretty much fluffed. There may be a little bit more fluffing that I'll do once I get everything on. If I remember right, I have five eight foot sections of garland to be able to fit around my whole door. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some picks, um, pine picks around the um, into the garland and I'm gonna secure using my zip ties. So I'm gonna have my zip ties and my wire cutters to finish up the garland here. I have a tote full of stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab from my tote and see what I can come up with. These ones I used last year and they're already bent, so I'm assuming I had them at the corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and figure out what one was what way and add them up to the corners again.
just like on the wreaths, I'm using the pine that is on the garland to help secure those picks kind of wrapping it around the pick stems. So it's gonna kind of camouflage as well as help secure it. That zip tie is gonna hold it though, so I'm not worried that it's gonna fall apart during the winter or during the Christmas season. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and move over to the other side. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and come in with some more pine picks and put them, um, maybe I'll put one up here at these little arches. Um, I have just some plain pine and I think those are what, that's what I'm gonna use at those arches. So I'm gonna dig in my tote here and find those and get a couple zip ties and then put them up. So now I have a couple more picks that I can go ahead and put, um, a couple more pine picks that I can go ahead and put on the sides and then I can bring in the planters and hang the wreath because I'm not putting any ribbon up on this. I kind of wanted to steer away from ribbon a little bit on the outside. <laughs> the inside's a different story. So let's go ahead and add a couple more picks. The same kind of um, the same concept as before is I'm just going to slide the pick stem into the um, garland, secure it with my um, zip tie, and then fluff it. So now I think what I'm going to do is I have some berries. Um, I like my little red berry picks and I just want to splash the color out here on the door. So I think I'm just going to put in maybe four, maybe a couple at the top and then a couple on the sides. We'll see. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those in. 
I think for these, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and slide them into the garland and then use the, um, the, the green branches on the garland to secure these on. Um, I'm not using the zip ties on these ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have everything on the garland that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick cleanup and then bring in the planters and the wreath and then we'll be finished. Okay, so the wreaths on the door, the planters are in the place, but I can see the extension cords and I don't want to do, I don't want to see them. So I'm going to go ahead and hide them. I had my husband and my son make me some box forms out of wood and then I wrapped it in gift wrap. So I've got little presents. So I'm going to go ahead and put those down.
I was able to find a solution to get the lights working on the garland here. So I plugged them in and they do work. I'm sure the lights on the house are on as well right now because they are all plugged into a timer and I turned the timer on just to make sure everything was working. I'd hate to get this all done and then for whatever reason they stopped working. I did check before I put this all up but still you never know one of the bulbs might have went out and then I would have had to search for it. But anyways I've got the front porch all decorated for Christmas so let's step back and kind of take a look. Mm -hmm. 